Hello guys and welcome to your 13 C++ tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on the switch statement, just like we said, just like we mentioned in the previous tutorial. So let's go right ahead and get started. Go ahead and open the hello.cpp file, or if you don't have it, go ahead and create a new project. Uh, right click on source file and add, a, and add a new source file. So let's go right ahead and get started. So first, what we want to do is basically declare a car variable, and let's call it uh, x. Next, what we will do is ask the user, I'm going to say enter, or maybe I should say choose a So what we're doing here is asking the user to either enter and let's put a semicolon here. And let's store that in the variable car variable x. So we're asking the user to enter, we're giving him two choices, to either put A or B. Then we're storing that in the car variable x. Next what we want to do is type switch. And inside switch we'll put the variable x open bracket close bracket inside here inside the switch statement we're going to type case and then we're going to put case A and this is in case the user enters A for this purpose uh, we'll do something very simple we'll just display a message say you you entered will display what he entered in X and N line. So we'll say you entered A. And then what we want to do here is make sure to type break. So after this case is executed it will, it will basically break out of the switch statement and then continue executing the rest of the code. Next we're going to have a second case so we will do the same thing type case and now we're going to have B. We're gonna do the same thing. Let's display another message and let's say you entered and display the x variable and line and make sure to type break as well. So if he enters a up here, in this, uh, we're gonna ask him to choose either a, uh, to choose either a or b. If he chooses uh, a, he's gonna be stored in the x variable. Come in the switch statement, then he's gonna see which case is a. So here, case A is the first one. So then what it will do is go inside of it, display the message, basically execute the code that's uh, included is inside the inside case A, which is only the C out here. Uh, so it's going to just basically display you entered X, which is A, and then it's going to break out of the loop, pause, and and then basically close the program, terminate. But let's say he enters B, it will go to case B, skip case A, go to case B display the second message you have entered B and then break out but let's say the user enters something else that we do not have a case for then there's another thing we can type we can type default what we'll do is type another message and we'll say you have entered an incorrect input you can type any message you want as well. And let's type N line. And then we also want to type break as well. So what this will do is if the user doesn't enter what we actually told him to enter either A or B, this will he will always get this default message telling me that he enters he entered an incorrect input and then break and then terminate the program. So that's the switch statement. So let's go ahead and test it, make sure it actually works properly. Let's go ahead and build. So once it actually builds, so let's go ahead and test it. Alright, so here we go. It says choose A or B. Let me choose A. Once I choose A, you're going to be stored in the C in right here, it's going to be stored in the X. Then if I choose A, we should get the message you entered A. So it says you entered A. Now let's try the second case. Let's try case B. Let's say I enter B. We should get you entered B. We should get case B and second message. You have entered D, 
uh, B. Now let's say I enter an incorrect uh, input. Let me enter something like G. We should get a default message. You have entered an incorrect input. So that's what we got. So that is basically a very simple tutorial on the switch statement. So let's go over it one more time. So we declare a, a car variable x. We ask the user to enter, we give the user two choices to either enter a or b. We store the variable. Um, uh, we store the user's input in variable x, and we went inside our switch statement and we took cases. We took case a and case b. So if the user enter a, we will execute whatever it's inside case a, which is this part, the the body, and then same same thing here for case b. And if the user entered anything else besides one of those choices that we gave him he will get the default statement I mean the default message or whatever we enter here code and he's going to get this message so that was basically a quick tutorial on the switch statement so please go uh, please guys subscribe check out all my other videos and leave comments it's truly appreciated also friend invites are pretty cool so you can go ahead and request if you can do that that will be awesome so if you want a tutorial about anything else just leave a comment or message me uh, thank you